So, welcome back everyone. Uh, it's been, it's been a while since, well, been about a week, maybe, since I uploaded the first part. Uh, welcome back to Final Fantasy. Um, while... <laughs> Off camera, I did drive to, well, this area, to uh, complete the errand prints. Um, however, you, we will also get a thing here for Dave. I'm going to pick up the sign and stuff. Cool. And I'm, I believe there is a... Uh, sorry, uh, I believe there is a cutscene. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll dig it out of the trunk, so you all just sit tight. Is that Zumbra? Umbra, bringing us stuff. Atta boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh, yeah. Sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. Sorry about that, I was, uh, my controller died so I wasn't able to speak. If there was any cut audio there, I apologise. However, the subtitles are on the screen, so hopefully it didn't affect you too bad. All set. Take care out there. I know, you're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Uh, what does he say? Yeah, there's a quest. Uh, hold on a sec, it. sir. I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio? The Hunter HQ? Yes, sir. The head hunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Noct? Might as well while we're in the neighborhood. That's true. <laughs> First of all, we're gonna go to the tipster and uh, reveal, well, everywhere around here. Uh, Umbra is, well, is like a servant to one of the Some gods, I guess. The other day. It's hard to explain. Like. Welcome to the crow's nest. You boys must be hungry. So we'll reveal the campsites and all that around us. There's no wrong choice here. We don't have any money to, Thanks for um, your business. Well, spare to do stuff like that yet. Um, off these camera, days. I'll do a few hunts for money. Obviously, it'll increase XP as well, but... Later on, the later stages of the game are gonna be more irritating if we aren't, well, level. So, we'll go do, um, gone hunting. So it's search for the um, headhunter, which is Dave, that we met last episode, well, last part. Well, look who it is. I really owe you boys one. Make yeah, that two. <laughs> Can't seem to catch a break. Yeah. Yeah, looks like they found another one. Wait, uh, found another what? Tag. Us hunters keep them on our person at all times as identification. What? In case you forget who you are? More like so no one else forgets who they were. Hunters lead a life of danger, 
Sometimes these tags are the only things that make it back in one piece. It's our job to deliver them to the families of the fallen. As it were, I came out here to do just that. <sighs> if y'all happen to find any tags lying around out there, would you do me a favor and send them my way? Yeah, sure. Word is somebody spotted a tag around these parts. Try asking the local tipster. He'll point you in the right direction. So now we're gonna have to talk to the tipster again, which those I tags are heavy stuff. They right certainly carry here. emotional weight. We'd best find and return them. And give the families peace of mind. Let's start by Welcome. So let's um Can I, I know where take your tag order? Is. It's right there. Be careful. Alright, so we're gonna have to quickly, uh, how far away is it? It's only about 700 feet, it doesn't usually take that long. Hopefully, if he has some, um, banner or something on the way there. Better make tracks. Ignis, we're going! On my way! So, Dave gives multiple side quests around collecting dog tags of fallen hunters, which honestly so, uh, would be a hard So, you job thinking to fairy tale Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow, still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, uh, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever. It came from there. See some saber tusks. Um. Saber tusks. Um. <laughs> we'll collect some ingredients. S sweet peppers. So just around here, when we actually get the area, we'll have to fight um the group Maybe of saber tusks. this way. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll get the min uh, mineral deposit. This will make a fine paint. You unlock paint a bit later in the game after you've done, I think it's one or two quests for Cindy. Uh, side quests, that is. Huh. Hey! First thing I need now. Eyes peeled, not closed. You're on fire today. Yeah. Uh, Rush him! Counter! Oh, my <laughs> so, like, starting off with, for example, uh, a sword or a spear, because they have like, a high DPS, or even the um, daggers. And then, if that doesn't work, moving to magic or the great sword. Now we've found the broken dog tag. We need to deliver that back to Dave. After this, we can move straight to Golden Key. Yeah, the opening part of the game, guys, it, it's. It introduces you to char characters who, well, it does favour the plot, but it also introduces characters that will either be more important later on in the game, or characters who give you side quests. For example, Dave and uh, someone we'll meet in a bit. Found one already, huh? You done good. Just taking up the pieces, I guess. Well, try to keep your spirits up, even though I ain't one to talk. I beat myself up over the lives of the hunters I couldn't save. That's what each one of these tags means to me. They hurt. But if I let that grief keep me from looking for them, then their tags and their lives will be forgotten forever. And that'd hurt more than anything. Yeah, guess you're right. Well, that's why I tell all my hunters to collect any tag they see, and I expect you boys to go out and do the same. 
we're gonna gain some more XP and we can be on our way stocking up on right, so pressing right trigger brings up your potions and all your like items but um usually what I'll do is I'll try to get 99 of a few of them since 99 is the most you can get of them so now we'll go to quest location and the Erin Prince everything in order yeah we'll all with. right Now we're gonna um, go to Golden Key, which isn't like too important. I mean, at this part. For of the our game, next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. So, Luna Freya plays a massive, massive part in the game. As does the well, the entire tree as well, I guess. From a from a certain perspective. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island though. They go to kick back and get massages. And say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. So as you saw at the side there, um, Cindy will upgrade your car. She gives you quests to find uh, unique parts for the regalia. Which in turn... What do you say we then, pull over for a minute? Well, it, for yeah, example, a few. my throat's bone dry. Sounds like grounds for a pit stop. Sounds like a waste of time and money. So the fuel fuel gauge uh, can last longer with upgrades. We need to replenish to our supply quicker. of curatives. Gotcha. And um, it can it can just get to the point where it, it runs off the like like ready to set sail. Just gotta find my sea legs first. <laughs> Better hurry. Aye. So we're gonna rush straight and uh, complete this little bit of the uh, main quest. So you see, this is possibly one of the nicest er look looking areas in the game, which will make sense since it's supposed to be like. Well, it's where fairies come, but I'd say second or third nicest place in the game, in my opinion. Welcome to Golden. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> what's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Oh. You believe 
what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, but I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. So, the suspicious character we just met is also very prominent in the game. We meet, we will meet him later and numerous times. So what you said was true. Man, not a ship in sight. What gives? What's all this about the port closing? Some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to stay another night. According to my sources, the Empire given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince Eleusis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. Of course, we're, we're gonna have to listen to one. What do you want? Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones. Like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't. And the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? Appreciate So this is another um side quest to give her. Ooh, when it opens it's really got your number, Nox. <sighs> Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. Yeah, making well the newspapers and the press. Well, hostile to you is one of the worst things to do, especially when you're like... So this cat, uh, the quest introduces you to uh, the fishing mechanics, um, which we'll obviously do. Well, I'll do it off camera, because it is... It, fishing is... Yeah, it's not like Far Cry fishing and stuff like that, where it takes... it doesn't take a long time. Sometimes actually getting a fish can take a while. It is become a night however Feels nice here uh, near the gem deposit we're going to there is in fact going to be a, um, a campsite as you can see it's right there everything in order yep mm -hmm. hopefully we should be able to get there before nightfall so we don't have to fight any demons but you never know hey not yeah? <sighs> I'm pretty beat. Come Maybe Sid was right about your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. The royal rank carries little weight outside the Crown City. Glad it's not weighing me down. So, <laughs> thanks to that little um, script, um, scripted audio there, we actually got out of, um, having to say no up front door uh, to deal with going back to the rest of um, area. Um, hotels and motels and all that, they provide more XP, however, camping, I believe, can't get, it gives you The aid. sun's gone down. Now might be a good time to consider where we'll set down for the night. I'm with Iggy. So, so uh, eventually, obviously, it's going to get more and more XP extra that we get, especially when, well, leveling up Gladio's um, skill. We bits where like um in the car where for example Prompto right now is sitting talking to Gladio and uh, Gladio and Noct and um there'll be bits where like Noct is sure in the car in and that's the right spot according to the map. Cool. Let's scope it out. So Jesus, I just <laughs> honestly just crap myself. Wasn't expecting the car to uh, just come out there. We are gonna camp just so that there isn't any demons. Especially um. You wanna make camp? 
the big ones with swords, which are really difficult. Well, especially at this point in the game, very, very Sleeping difficult. out under the stars Bad tonight. Deal. this stage in the game I guess it is. So we're now, so Prompto's um, photography, oh pardon, photography just leveled up. Ignis cooking hasn't went up by much, that takes a while. Gladio survival is nearly level 2 and we haven't even fished as Nox, not so. Now I can go through Damn, the pictures. this is a really good shot. <laughs> I made sure I got the regalia's good side. saving any of them yet we'll save ones that are like very like <sighs> peaceful out here dark and quiet no, reveals so cool much hidden by loud city lights that's all well and good but i'm more concerned about the things hiding in the dark it's definitely no place for a moonlight stroll but it's not all bad yeah i kind of like it never would have guessed why not because you're a prince what princes can't enjoy the outdoors We'll just leave the electricity, even though elect el el sort of electric magic out of like any sort of medium is probably my favourite. So, um, we're gonna have to walk over like a, a, a natural bridge, and then we're gonna see something uh, pretty pretty cool. Unless we can see it from here. I don't think we can. Hmm. So there you can see it from here. It's the big bird from Rock here. and roll! <laughs> OMG. We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up. See so yeah, it. This is what it looks like. Up close. journey's end. But that feat was fit for a king. Indeed. So we need to quickly uh, run back to the car, then we can probably fast travel straight at Golden. Well, I thought that's great. Almost out of stamina as well.
shit, now I can fast travel. Shouldn't take long to load when fast traveling. It's more like loading into the game or into a brand new area that usually takes a long, long time. Usually though, fast travel takes uh, hardly any time. Safe and sound. Uh. Actually, before we get this into Dino, we'll just refuel it. <laughs> Don't like the sound of the um, hands what? sort of slapping together. It, it doesn't sound right, in my opinion. Where, as Dino promised, we should be getting a boat uh, tomorrow after having this um, stone one. I believe you also get, we'll also be getting an accessory um, that'll increase one of our stats. So, like how Cindy gave us the uh, bronze bangle, which increased your health. I completely forgot to equip that. We, uh, um welcome to Golden Key. All of the accessories I have already is due to uh, the DLCs and events and stuff that have been done prior. But we stay in here. Well, just so you know, I'm cool with camping. So now we can um, just finally speak to Dino. Oh. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. You guys ready to set sail? Yes, we are. Already? The ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? It's bedtime. Yeah. So now this is like a chapter end sort of thing. I think so. You two are the picture of friendship. It's now on the loading screen for the next cinematic.
Morning. Where's Specs? Should be back any minute now. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia... false. What? Just your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia... But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the Kingdom be wrong? If only... <sighs> what else do we know? Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Pretty heavy stuff. And now the the main characters are gonna go, well, check whether the well the, the the state of things. See how bad it is at insomnia. So once this uh. Let's finish loading. I'm assuming we're gonna be in the car close to it. Um, well, not too in. Well, yeah, too insomnia. Hmm. This one's gonna take quite a while. Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're searching for truth. All you'll find are lies. Like that ceasefire. Transport soldiers, namely the Magitek infantry. The robots? Mass produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. Doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace treaty. Set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. He's now gonna have to go to a bit. Find like a sort of bandage point.
Let's make a detour. There ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. So we're gonna have to fight through a few like there they are. In that, well, in Wanna the take them out? Oh yeah. Scrap each I wish they had a treaty to protect them. Okay, these these little bitches they're harder to kill than the soldiers will kill for. I'll be late on the stage. Even even with the like level. It just becomes really so then you will get Which to be fair at the end of the game, it's all sort of like Okay, I'm going to get it. Oh, it's not. Wasn't let me do anything right there. Even like when in the game. I'm gonna say that it feels so bad. Might take a while, but um. Well, yeah, it might take a while to. Where do they keep coming from? Like, can't imagine what it's like inside. We should seek a vantage point. The hill. Yeah, point walk in. Restored health. And it also restored health. Swam in. Um, the final part of the game is not how the final is played out, just to But, if you don't even come like, the final mission you want on this little hill, this is the only part of the game where you can use it. After ceasefire discussions between the two nations, behemoth, all yeah. provisional terms have been suspended in light of recent developments. Moreover, in the wake of the news of King Regis' death, we've now received word that Crown Prince Noctis and the Oracle Luna Freya have also been pronounced uh -huh. dead. Keep it on! Oh. <laughs> Don't bother! the city with no way back in makes sense <sighs> makes sense are you serious what about any of this makes sense the news just told me i'm dead along with my father and luna listen i'm heading out to hammerhead <sighs> about the king it's true <sighs> if you're looking for the whole truth you know where to find me get moving
like uh, now chapter end so all XP will get tallied up really um, hard hitting stuff honestly Another long loading screen. However, once we get a hammerhead, uh, that'll be end. That'll be the end of the part. suppose the Crown's Guard is still active. I wouldn't count on it. Not with the Marshal out here. I wonder how things are in the city. There should be reports before long. Yeah, something this big can't go ignored. Um, and what about us? What do we do? Though. We make for Hammerhead now, and Good figure the rest some, out um, later. Text. I think I remember that, sort of. Got a message from my sister. She's with refugees bound for Lestalem. Well, at least Iris is okay. Yeah. Doesn't sound like everyone else was so lucky, though. We'd best make haste. Noct won't be dead forever. No going back. Only ways forward. No going back. Let's go. So Nox just decided to, like, suck it up for now. Glad y'all made it. <sighs> no weather for driving, that's for sure. Oh, thanks. Where's Cor? Uh, left to see the business. And left y'all a message with Papa. Yeah? Boss ain't sat still one second since he heard y'all were coming. So, I'm gonna collect all the items in Sid's garage. Oh. Apparently not before the cutscene. Crystal and the King's Ring, what they've been after all along. So all talk of peace was merely a pretext. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Lucius got dealt a losing hand and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away, and he wasn't gonna go down without a fight. In the end, though, well, it just wasn't enough. You need something else, you talk to Core. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. Oh. So yeah, we'll quickly collect this last item and uh, 
just go speak to not in his garage but outside I guess Cora left a message said he'll wait for you in the tombs there to the northwest of here that's a short ways past the outpost find that first so next episode um, we'll be at the prairie outpost uh, but for now, I'll see you guys next time.